Oh, sorry. Was I uh, blinding you there with my new ring? Because uh, I'm married now. We did it, y'all. We finally got hitched. We are married. I am a married man, and I am so, so freaking happy. Um, I actually filmed some stuff leading up to the wedding, thinking that I was going to do like some quick editing or whatever, post the stuff up. Um, that did not go as planned. Uh, most of the week probably did not go as I intended, but I guess that's kind of like the warning that I was getting and was being told uh, numerous times about how uh, more often than not, like your wedding planning and wedding day um, usually doesn't go as you planned it. But you know what? At the end of the day, all that was important to me and all that really mattered was being able to share my vows with the love of my life and get married. And that's exactly what we did. And I am actually right now super out of shape. Uh, I wouldn't say super, but um, it's it's been two weeks since I've done anything. Um, you know, we're coming out of the our little quote unquote honeymoon, um, we decided to kind of stay home and we went through so many different um, eating spots um, and we got super fat. So right now uh, is officially day one of me trying to lose about 2% body fat um, going through this summer and drastically improving my fitness level before we get back into the uh, semester for teaching. I actually did not get assigned for uh, summer school this this uh, this year. Part of that was just low enrollment and oh, actually all of that was <laughs> was low enrollment um, and so I think I kind of taking it as a little bit of a blessing because it gives me an opportunity to kind of do a little bit of a full reset of both training um, and just kind of getting back into the groove of being in a new home, being married, um, you know, taking my dogs out for more more walks and whatnot. So it's I'm seeing it as a pro, um, and I can also pick up a little bit more clients this uh, this summer. Which, if any of you are interested um, and you need a little bit of assistance uh, and are looking for a run coach. Do not hesitate to reach out to me. Uh, you can drop it in the comments. If you follow me on Instagram, you can direct message me um, or instant message. I don't know what it's called. Um, or on Facebook, you can also message me there if you've got my number, if you got my email. Um, by all means, uh, I am at your disposal this summer from now until August. Um, so if that if that interests you, you can always reach out. Outside of that, I mean, this is just gonna. I'm really looking forward to this summer. Um, it'll be. A summer that I am devoting to really uh, delving into my training um, and so earlier today we did go to the gym um, was again you know haven't done anything for two weeks and it, it wasn't too bad it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be I definitely already start to feel some soreness but not um, excessive I'm revamping my eating habits as well so I'm kind of going back um, to some of the things that I was doing that that one year that I really invested in training you know I took a semester off school um, all I was doing was working part-time and, and training full-time essentially and so I want to kind of get back into that groove at least so it can carry me through um, the upcoming semester so super stoked about that um, but the gym was great um, out here now um, back at uh, Hanson Dam and we're gonna put in a 30 minute run easy going today was a scheduled either day off or cross training or easy run I'm opting for the easy run because I wanted to kickstart the the Monday um, and we're gonna see how this goes I mean like I said this is day one of what I'm calling my own body transformation and not to say that I'm like excessively out of shape or I've got so much um, uh, excess body fat or anything like that but it's just like for my own personal sanity um, I know where I have been and I know um, the fitness level that I've acquired uh, at my height and I kind of want to get back there um, you know what they say physiologically after about the age of 30 everything's a slow decline cardiovascularly skeletally uh, muscularly and so I'm not 30 yet I've got one I, not a full year, but I've got a few months left in, in, in my 20s, if you will, um, that I really want to get as high of a fitness level as possible um, and be in the best shape of my life, essentially. So I think I can do it. I, I, I know what I need to do. I've got a good solid team behind me. I've got my, my running coach. I got my strength coach. Um, I got my wife now. So that is great to say. You have no idea how many times that I have just found an excuse to save my wife. It just, oh, it's got a certain ring to it. Um, but anyways, so we're gonna get started. I'm gonna do a couple of dynamics, um, head out on my run, and I'll see you all when I get back.
just hit the one mile mark at a 7.43. And I'm keeping the effort easy, going based off heart rate right now. Uh, heart rate, well now, it's like 144. Now that I started talking and holding this thing up, I'm gonna keep everything heart rate based for all of my easier, longer runs. Uh, part of that is making sure that I actually keep within my effort one nice thing. Plus, it's gonna force me to maintain adequate liquid intake or hydration. Gotta keep up with that hydration because the one downside with heart rate training is that your heart rate fluctuates greatly by so many different factors and hydration is a big one. So as long as I can keep up with the hydration, we're gonna be A-OK -okay, and it'll be pretty reliable or it'll be a reliable metric of effort. So now I'm at 152. I'm out of shape. Send help. Change. God damn. It's amazing what a week of nothing but eating and drinking can do to you with no running, no exercise. Holy moly. I'm feeling heavy. I'm feeling super heavy. This is me at mile three. Feeling a lot better because mile three was all flat, which was beautiful. I loved every second. And now we got some downhill. Now am I concerned? Not at all. A little, a little, but we're gonna get through this. One step at a time. This is the first step. Baby steps, baby steps. You cannot rush fitness. You cannot rush it. You gotta respect the process. You gotta stay the course. And always, always, always run happy. Which is what we're doing right now. Oh, God. Got about four minutes left. We'll finish this up. And I'll see you in a bit. This is just terrible. Like, aerobically, I don't feel as bad. I don't really feel that out of breath. It's just, my body aches. I mean, I know that running is, is high impact, and so it's to be expected, but Jesus, my goodness gracious. I don't think it's like the most out of shape I've been, but it's definitely, it's up there. It's definitely up there. Um, overall, we got out there, we got, we did what we needed to do, and so, um, I call this a win, because I actually got out of bed, went to the gym, and came out here to run. So, day one is in the bag, all that's left to do is, um, I gotta do a lot of rolling and stretching tonight. I'll probably hop on the Normatec, uh, let my legs unwind a bit, but... We got it done. And of course, hydration, hydration. Gotta keep up with the hydration. I will say, uh, my watch has a hydration log and I didn't know that you can actually set a reminder where it'll, or you can set it up to give you reminders of, of hydrating and whatnot. Uh, but it has been coming in clutch uh, because for some reason, Lately, I've just been forgetting to, to drink water, so it's kind of nice to have that little reminder. Um, and so, hopefully this will give me enough cues that, hey, I gotta hydrate. So far, I've drinking 64 ounces out of my goal of 137. They usually say, good, good rule of thumb is your body weight in ounces is about how much you, want, you need to drink per day. So we're gonna start with that. Uh, the last couple days, I think I've been just over 120 and I am 144 as of this morning uh, and like 11 point something percent body fat 
and that's I don't think it's the highest I've, I actually don't know what the highest I've ever been this might be the highest I've ever been um, I've been letting myself go quite a bit over the last couple of weeks and it's not good but the stressors of wedding planning and moving in and all of that is behind me now and now I can focus focus on what is important and right now through these summer months the most important thing right now is gonna be getting my fat into shape um, and I know some of you are probably thinking like bro you're not fat and I'm not it's just I don't like feeling like this like coming from you know putting in what 40 50 60 miles a week depending on what time of the year I was in and being I think at the at my lowest I was like 8.4 percent body fat um, you feel a difference. You feel a difference. I think I'm like, what, almost 10 pounds heavier. I think I was uh, 135 or 136, somewhere around there, um, when I was eight, eight something, eight point something percent, and putting in that much mileage. Uh, I was going to the gym a lot. I think I was going in like four days a week. So, relatively speaking, in comparison to how I was before, yeah, I'm a little on the heavier side. But I will say it was definitely a lot of fun this last week. Going to all the different eateries and pigging out. Like, I don't regret that at all. Not one bit. <clears throat> I do regret the, <coughs> the weeks before and not taking care of myself. That I do, for sure, 100%. And, and I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's like all these like, I don't know, it's like a, <coughs> you know, like the old um, pillows that like were filled with feathers. <coughs> God damn, there's like so many of them here. All right, not a guess. <coughs> I think one of them got in my throat. <coughs> what is this? <coughs> oh, it's cotton of some sort. <coughs> I don't know what it is, but this is probably not a, a, a good setup here. I won't be coming back <coughs> to this spot. I thought it would be better, but it's not. But I mean, overall, I think, you know, mentally, I feel good that I was able to get out here. I got my work in. But just physically, man, I am, I am not there. So we're gonna go home, unwind a little bit, have some lunch, and we're gonna keep going. That's that's all we can do. We gotta push forward. Um, on that note, timing is everything. Everything happens for a reason. I truly believe that. <clears throat> so I, I was talking to uh, Jess a couple days ago, you know, and told her that like once we're done with our honeymoon, like. I'm gonna go on to, into a body transformation and I need to commit myself and you know, I give you the whole spiel, right? And so we were, we were just hanging out at home and um, I was, um, I think I was, I don't know if I was on Instagram or on YouTube, one of the two. And I came across um, one of Nick Simmons. If any of you uh, know Nick Simmons, uh, former Olympian, um, and those of you that know me, um, you know that he is one of my idols um, relative to the sport of track and field. Um, and just in general, you know, he's, he's a great guy. I mean, just looking at all the stuff that he's done, but especially for runners, uh, I mean, he was an advocate for um, allowing runners to be able to gain sponsorships when they go to the Olympics because, um, I mean, runners don't make that much money. I mean, unless you're like one of the top and you got a shoe contract and what have you, I mean, part of their income is sponsorships outside of shoes and you can't do any of that when you, when you go to the Olympics and so I mean those are that's time that you're missing out on um, income and so I mean he was just a huge advocate of how um, the Olympic committee just handles all, all of the whole sponsorship during the Olympic year but anyways um, love the guy uh, one of the things that I, I came across I came across was um, one of his videos and um, Within it, he had talked about doing this 30-day uh, challenge to a faster mile, and I thought that was perfect timing because um, I, along with you know being able to, to train for CIM, I still want to get a good mile in, and so I'm actually going to commit to this 30-day challenge. I'm going to submit my information, whatever, and join it. If any of you would like to join it with me, um, I will put in a link to his video of where his link is to join that if that makes sense. Yeah, so I think this is gonna also be um, a nice little transition of one, not just going on my own body transformation, but two, um, come end of June going into July, how fast can I run a mile? Um, so that'll be a little fun summer experiment to do as well. Um, I'm hoping, I think if everything goes well and if I'm regimented as I need to be and as I should be, 
I'm going to be ambitious and say I'm going to I'm going to opt for a 430, 430 mile. Um, I think that's within reason, maybe, but we'll see. We shall see. Um, yeah. So with that, I will leave it here and uh, go home, rest up. But I will see you all later. And don't forget, like I said during the run, we got to keep on this. We have to respect the process. We have to respect the fact that the process isn't always pretty. Sometimes it's gruesome. Sometimes it's nasty. Sometimes it's fun. Sometimes it's great. Uh, but it's all part of the process. We're going to stay this course because that is the goal, right? Whatever your goal is, in my case, we want to drop some body fat percentage. We want to run faster. We want to get more fit. We have to stay this course. And always, 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 for me, run happy. But for you, maybe it's lift happy. Maybe it's cycle happy. Regardless, just enjoy what you're doing. Be a part of it. Respect the process. Stay the course. Run happy. All right, y'all. Till the next time. We'll see ya.